As a 90s dad, there are a few things that come with the territory. Backwards caps, macaroni and cheese with ground beef in it. Heck, even quesadillas made in the microwave. We've all been there. There's one thing that a 90s dad probably has seen before, and that is Dragon Ball Z. Maybe not all of you have watched it. I didn't watch it growing up because I wasn't allowed to. We also didn't have cable, so I didn't have Toonami. But Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball were something I was very familiar with. I had watched maybe a couple dozen of the hundreds of episodes that existed, so I was very familiar. Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, all of that stuff was so ingrained into the playground friendship gaming stuff that we did. That and Star Wars. Well, on the 1st of March, the creator of this album, Akira Toriyama, passed away, and a lot of us 90s kids felt the weight a little bit. So, I thought about it some, and it was something that I only just recently got more into. My best friend Chase has introduced me to this, his favorite series, and encouraged me to read through the mangas. So I have been reading through them and had fallen in love with Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Sharing it with my daughter, reading her stuff that I can because there are elements of that specific show that are a little bit dated, um, especially when it comes to some of the characters and the way that they behave towards each other. It's just a little bit wacky. Requires some extra whew, explanation. This is the crazy one that is pretty much just for my wife. I can't handle it, it's too much for me. We're gonna go with the guat today. But it got me thinking about other things, about gaming as a parent, gaming back when I was a kid, and just the innocence of it all, really, and why is it something that I find myself gravitating towards more and more, and wanting to encourage my children to get involved in, as some parents and some societies would actually encourage their children to stay away from gaming because of what they consider to be problems? First, I'd like to say that I don't know if I'm going to be making videos on Sundays or on the weekends regularly, but it's a special thing. One, because it's uh, Daylight Savings Day for some of us in the United States, maybe other countries, I don't know. It's a silly, nonsense thing that just makes parents tired and everyone's all screwed up all the time. Although I will admit that this Daylight Savings is the one that we take advantage of as parents. It doesn't make us any less tired, but it means that our children might wake up a little bit later, which for some of us, oh man, we need it. Another thing is I got these Dragon Balls in, and uh, they excite me and inspire me, and you know, this is the, for those of you who know, the four. This is the Gohan, the Grandpa Dragon Ball, that Goku, when he was a little kid, searching for, gets taken. And so, the number four Gohan Dragon Ball will be with us today, and we'll be remembering Akira Toriyama, um, just in our hearts. The man was, he was a great, great artist. Great storyteller, fun stuff. But why? Why video games? Why is it so important? I have no studies for you, but what I do have is the experience of me as a dad. So I've talked at length about how video games for me have become kind of a staple in my day to day. I know that recently I have um, been going through Rebirth, still going through it. It's gonna take me forever to get through, although um, I'm slowing down uh, now that I've gotten away from release date. I don't have the time that I was before. I mean. This, this past weekend, my wife was at a work event seminar thing, working on some crazy awesome leadership things because she's a freaking stud. She's so good at her job that they're just like, hey, you're so good, we'd like to send you to these leadership uh, things and get you all the tools you need to do more great things. So it was cool, but that means that I was on full-blown dad duty uh, for some additional days. And uh, that just meant that I didn't get to play the video games I wanted to play, and I had more out of the library times. That was all day yesterday. But what I did do because of the um, whole thing with Akira Toriyama is I decided to purchase a game for the second time, specifically for my Steam Deck. I purchased uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, a game that I have for my PlayStation 5, and I've played just a little bit of it, but I'm like, I wanna play this more. And it reminded me 
of a game called Dragon Ball Z Budokai, which released on PlayStation 2. I think other systems too, but that's where I primarily played it. Played with one of my closest friends. We're still friends to this day, Miles. Um, and he and I would play that game all the time. We played video games growing up. We played Ratchet and Clank. We played Budokai. We played Pokemon. These are the games that we played. But all those, if, if, except for Budokai, you can imagine were single player story driven games where we would call each other and ask each other where we're at. Hey, did you have, you know, what'd you do for this part? What gun did you use in Ratchet and Clank for this part? And we would talk at length and enjoy those moments. And, you know, I, I've seen some comments about uh, multiplayer games and just the negativity that is surrounded in that space. And I personally have fallen out of love with some of the multiplayer games that I had played, such as Fortnite and well, Call of Duty I've never really fully gotten into, and Apex I'm just not into it either. There's nothing wrong with those games. I think those games are great. I mean, you guys know that I am a huge fan of Fortnite, but I just stopped playing them. Because the experience I'm having with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is one that reminded me of my days of old, of calling my buddy up, hey, where are you at? Except I'm doing it with my grown father friends at this point. And we're comparing our progress, laughing about certain funny things and different things like that. And I think that that is such a special thing that has come with us. And I don't know if it's more indicative of a 90s kid to have that type of experience or have that kind of thing, but I find it more and more common in people my age that play video games that the single player narrative based games shared with others is really an awesome, awesome thing. It's like going through a story and being excited about it. Much like what I'm doing with Dragon Ball Z, I, in Dragon Ball, I am very, very excited to experience the story and talk with some of my friends who are more well versed in it, especially with people in the Discord. There are plenty of people in the Discord that are very, very familiar, King of Anime being one of them, with these franchises and are extremely comfortable talking about them at length. What are we going with today? This is a one. One. I realized I had a D4. I didn't realize that the triangle one was a D4. So I have a D4. This is my D4, which makes sense because it's one, two, three, four points. So I was rolling the D8 before. So here, D4, done. I kind of was shaken a little bit when the news was released that Toriyama passed away. Not because I knew him or I was even really, really familiar with his work, because I said, as I said, I am newer to this. Um, the unfortunate thing is, as an adult, I have more of a comprehension of story, of art and stuff like that. I'm not taking it at its face value as much and I'm going a little bit deeper with it. So I was really falling in love and I am falling in love with this specific franchise. And it is exciting to dive deeper in and saddening to know that this franchise now has a hard stop from the original creator. And what it ended up really making me think more about was intention. And I talked about it in the last cup, intention with how we um, spend our time, right? Whenever you are encountered or you encounter any sort of mortality thing, you start to think more and more about, well, am I spending my time wisely, right? And so with video games, that's always seemed to be the big thing. Like, am I wasting my time? Am I grinding at a game to level up a character instead of leveling up myself in life? And I think that those are really, really valid questions. And I think as parents who are trying to set an example for kids, it's a very, very valid question because we always wanna make sure that our children are witnessing the best version or a better version of what they could be because the goal is not to make children us, it's to make children better than us, right? And so in this past week, looking at all these things and thinking more and more about it, and also this weekend, just being tired when I wake up, I'm like, I wanna make a cup and talk more about just like this experience that I've been personally having, but that I've been reading about in the comment section about other dads who are like, oh, I play video games too, it's a nice release. Keep doing it, dads. It's so important to be able to reset because if we are, honestly, if we are encountering some of, not encountering, but if we are going to um, have a limited amount of time and we don't get wishes back, <laughs> right? Oh uh, gosh, I had all the Dragon Balls and I was like, oh, I get to make a wish. 
um, and we don't get wishes back to start over or to do something crazy and we just we get one moment we need to be able to be our best selves as fathers, right? Of course, taking care of ourselves health-wise, spiritually, being making sure that we're grounded, having a relationship with God, it's important. Also, what's important is to be able to refresh ourselves each day. And as we encounter more and more of life struggles and encounter more and more of the stresses that exist, and every day is gonna be something new. It never just becomes oh, this is easy peasy. Even as things in certain elements get easier and easier, it doesn't mean that the next big thing, right? Just when you get a grip on your finances, all of a sudden you blow a tire. Or just when you think everything is kind of balanced out, your dryer lights on fire. Two things that happened within the same week for me. <laughs> it was quite an experience. I guess what I'm trying to get at here is that there are a lot of things that are outside of our control, but a few things that we do have inside of our control is how we approach our days. And I think that for me, as I've spent these past few months and you know, reflected over these past few days, looking back more and more on my life and how things have transpired and the certain hobbies I've part like decided to keep in my life, one might think that you know you would look at video games and be like, ooh, maybe I spend a little too much time in this and should take some steps back to better myself in other areas. And I think that's totally a fair assessment. For me, I'm even more encouraged about this hobby. And with you guys and the way you've commented, I'm even more so encouraged about how it's affected you positively. Yesterday, my son was taking a nap and my daughter wasn't, which is a new thing that she likes to do. She likes to stay awake during nap time. And so I, in my weaker moment, said, fine, you can stay awake. Well, during that time, I wanted to play a little bit of video games. And she was like, she's watched me play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. She enjoys it. It's not too scary for her. At least we haven't gotten to any scary parts yet. And so she asked, Dada, can I sit on your lap and watch you play? And for those, gosh, what's felt like an eternity, but probably was only about 20 minutes, my daughter was on my lap watching me play a video game, and she was sitting there content in her father's arms, enjoying that moment with him. Could I have been outside doing something completely different? Absolutely. But the the thing that took place was I was sharing a moment with my daughter intentionally. She was sitting on my lap, we were doing something together, and she, whether she remembers it or not, felt the warmth of a father, not shushing and pushing her away to do his own thing, but instead decided to share a moment with her regardless of what it was. When I'm in my office, she doesn't know the difference between playing and working because uh, you know, fortunately and unfortunately, the two seem very similar. This office is filled with a bunch of things that she can and can't touch. She can touch pretty much whatever she reaches and she can't touch some of the new things. <laughs> she really wants to play with these Dragon Balls. <laughs> she really does. She was all about wanting to play with them. And I said, you can't really play with these because they're, I don't know if these are, these aren't glass or like an epoxy, but I'm like, you just can't play with these. Like this isn't a toy. But she's like, Dada, can you buy me my own? And I was like, oh man, what are the best things that I ever heard is my daughter asking me to buy her a set of Dragon Balls. Yes, of course I can. Will I? I don't know. I don't know if giving her glass balls is the smartest decision. She's almost three and a half. She comes into this office and she sees a father sitting in front of a TV or a screen or whatever it may be and asks, can I sit on your lap and be with you? And my answer is always, yes, of course you can. Um, and those moments I think are so special and it doesn't matter if she's sitting on my lap while I play video games, if she's sitting on my lap while I'm reading a book, or if she's sitting on my lap while I'm working on a video to edit. She wants to spend moments with me, her dad, which I think is important. And I think that that as fathers is very important to do with our children. And as I look at this time and these things and this moment, right, and it's like, man, it could leave us at any moment, right? Granted, you know, Akira wasn't super young. He was 68 when he passed away. But still, you know, all my grandparents lived into their 80s. My wife's grandparents are still alive. They're well into their, I think one's about to turn 90. So like, age is all over the place. People live a long time sometimes. And so 
I was like, ha, huh, what is the most important thing? Is it writing a book? Is it becoming the most successful person? Or is it being remembered by my children? And I think that for me, I was to talk more and more about my kids. And as I am rudely reminded early in the morning that they exist, I am also reminded that my job as a father is to be the most present possible. And present doesn't mean that I'm looking at them while they build something with magnet tiles or something along those lines. Present means that they feel like their father or their parent is there next to them. And so I grab something like my Steam Deck and I'm able to, instead of having my child stop what she's doing and coming into my office and sitting with me, I'm able to join her anywhere in her extravagant, crazy world she lives in this house. Whether she's playing with her dolls and she's in the living room doing her thing, I can sit there next to her. I don't have to play with her dolls because I'm not Dada. Dada is Mickey right now and I'm just simply supposed to stand there and hold the dolls on my lap while they're waiting for their turn at the office or the doctor's office, right? I can sit there and play Kakarot on my Steam Deck. Or if she's up in her room and she's doing a little tea party, I can be there with her and next to her and whether she wants me to do a tea party with her, boop, power button off, I'm playing, or whether she just wants me to be in the room with her as she does her thing to make sure that I can do that too. Like that kind of thing is so special to me. And I'm able to refresh, share games with my kid, and also be a part of her world instead of just making her come and be a part of mine. And that, for me, is the thing that I think I was thinking about a lot because I'm like, man, what am I trying to say with all this stuff, these gaming talks and this, that, and the other? Like, I'm encouraging others to continue playing video games, but in doing so, am I discouraging others to be present and to also live a life that's alongside their family? And so I really took stock of that after, you know, some of the stuff that happened this week. I'm like, things change, things are always all over the place. But Rooster Teeth closing down. Rooster Teeth made red versus blue, something that a lot of us 90s kids grew up watching in the mid 2000s while we were in middle school and high school. And, or high school for most of us. And it was also like, oh, it's the end of an era. You know, things change, things shift and I'm sitting here in my mid thirties playing video games. Is it time for me to close doors? Is it time for me to be like, ah, time to move on? And I, and I think about that sometimes. I go, what would I do if I stopped playing video games completely? Would I just become a more busy person? Would I be able to do more with my family? And the answer is yes. I would become more busy. I would fill my time with stuff that potentially could make me more money and be more stressed because I'm trying to make more money. And that more money may provide more time for me to spend with my family, but I don't feel like it would provide more intentional time. I think it'd provide more time where I'm technically with them, but worried about the next thing. Whereas something as relaxing as playing a game, drinking a cup of coffee, allows me to stay in a space that's somewhat balanced. Am I going to make millions of dollars making a cup of coffee and talking about video games? Absolutely not. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. This is ridiculous. I'm so thankful for the people that come and join me this time, but like, let's be real. I'm just a dad in his 30s talking about video games while sipping on a cup of coffee. That's not what YouTube or the world really needs right now. It's certainly what some of you guys say you like, which is awesome, and I'm glad that you guys are here, but I'm very self-aware. This is something that's very special and allows me, honestly, to be a better dad. Caffeinate a little bit. I feel like I'm talking to a friend for a brief moment and I get to play some of the games that I wanna play and share those experiences with other dads. Those are really the most important things. I get to have that refreshing, rejuvenating moment as a stay-at-home dad that I wouldn't get otherwise. Yeah, those are my thoughts for today. I'm real tired because it was kind of a rough past couple of days with the kiddos, and uh, I wasn't really gonna make a video today, but I figured, you know, daylight savings and looking, walking into my office and seeing the Dragon Balls all set up right here, I was like, oh man, I really wanna make a video and I really wanna post it because I like to. And you know, I wasn't making videos over the weekend before, but I genuinely enjoy making these. These are things that I feel, you know, like I would've talked to someone about this anyway. So thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna go make some ribs because we're having a family get together today and I'm gonna make some ribs on the Traeger. Hey Traeger, you wanna sponsor me? <laughs>
That'd be tight. I mean, come on. If you're a dad, you have a Traeger, right? All right. Ooh, I got to get the ribs going. All right, guys. That's it for me today. I, uh, I haven't finished a cup in a while, so let's do that right now. Oh. Finished. All right. I'm going to be way too caffeinated. <laughs> Happy gaming.